Hey Mojoholics, welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. We've got a very busy show this week, so let's get to it. In case you missed it, this week we published our list of the top 10 good movie aliens. And believe it or not, E.T. is not number one. So check it out if that blows your mind as much as it does mine. And this is not the first time we've done a list about aliens, as we have previously done top 10 scariest movie aliens, top 10 alien races in film, and top 10 sexy female aliens. Let us know in the comments if you want to see this reduxed into one giant top 10 movie aliens list with all the good, bad, ugly, and attractive aliens you can handle in one handy list. And if you're more into dogs than aliens, we also did top 10 live action movie dogs. Because dogs. Welcome to the weekend, friends. If it's raining where you are, take the opportunity to hole up all weekend with a Watch Mojo Marathon. Or Mojo-thon? What can you expect to see? Plenty if you're into protest songs or pop culture trends of the 80s and 90s. And for those of you with a love of animation, we've got a couple of clips for you. Anime fans and fans of kick-ass tunes, we will be bringing you the highly requested top 10 anime opening theme songs on Saturday. Gotta catch Pokemon. Yeah, I know, you're now singing the Pokemon theme to yourself. You're welcome. Anyway, on Saturday, you can also expect to see top 10 primary Pixar characters. So if you've always wanted to play with a Buzz Lightyear toy, or wanted to race Lightning McQueen, or wanted to travel to Paradise Falls with Mr. Fredrickson, this is the list for you. And now I'm thinking of Up and Toy Story 3 and trying not to cry. Way to go, Rebecca. Time for trivia, guys. Okay, let's do it. Which of the following actors has already been confirmed for a part in the cast of the upcoming Star Wars Episode 7? Alec Guinness, James Earl Jones, Andy Serkis, or Elijah Wood? You are correct if you said Andy Serkis. And if you want to quiz yourself some more on your random knowledge of just about anything, head over to watchmojo.com slash trivia. Anyway, I'm talking to you about Star Wars because May 4th is Star Wars Day. You know, may the 4th be with you. You get it. Anyway, are you super excited that Mark Hamill has finally been confirmed for the new Star Wars? I know you are. And if you want to get super psyched for it, we've got tons of lists that include your favorite space opera. Check out Top 10 Star Wars Moments, Top 10 Star Wars Video Games, The Origins of Yoda, Top 10 Movie Trilogies, Top 10 Sci-Fi Movie Duels, Top 10 Sci-Fi Movie Battles, Top 10 Coolest Movie Spaceships, and many, many, many more. And don't forget to head over to watchmojo.com slash calendar to see thousands of our older, equally timely videos. And while you're there, make sure to vote on the topics that matter most to you so we can tailor our future videos to your tastes. Before we ask your opinions on a few of our lists, we thought we'd show you where your hard work gets you. We published Top 10 Kiss Songs a few weeks back. On Sunday, you'll see Top 10 Unexpected Dance Scenes in Movies. And coming up soon, as in next weekend, you'll see Top 10 Bottle Episodes on the site. Thanks again for your help in choosing those lists. But we have even more lists in need of your input this week. To start, Top 10 Movie Ninjas. Sure, we've got the obvious ones like Three Ninjas or Beverly Hills Ninja, but we need your help with some of the more niche badass entries. So get to voting and don't forget to practice your wax on, wax off. We've also got a lot of music lists that need your help this week. For example, top 10 Nas songs. What should top the list? NY State of Mind or One Mic or something else? Let us know what you think. Nextly, top 10 progressive rock acts. We've had many suggestions that range from classic to metal progressive artist lists, but to kick it off, the Suggest page runs the gamut from classic prog rock acts to heavy metal bands. So vote for your favorites, and based on the tallies, we'll decide what to do and how to sort it out. We've also got another series, Top 10 Slow Dance Songs Per Decade. So for example, let's say you graduated high school in the 90s. At your prom, you probably danced to Casey and JoJo or Boys to Men or like Brian Adams or something. Everything I do, I do it for you. If you graduated in the 80s, there was probably some Wham or Journey and so on. So let us know what you danced to at your prom. That is, if you danced at your prom. 
We're thinking that splitting it up by decades is better than what we did with wedding songs, which was classic versus modern. And that just gives you some more insight into how much we actually think about these things before greenlighting an idea. As always, be sure to head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest to let us know what you think. And while you're there, make sure to exercise your right to vote on any other lists you may have an opinion on. Hey guys, we're back on the red couch for another shot at viewer FAQ. To help me answer your queries is your friend and mine, Dan. Hello, I've got the first question this week. Actually, we've got two sort of related inquiries. First off, Alexander Bourne asks, how do you decide what need a redux? Because I think there are some videos that could use one, namely your top 10 worst sequels, which contained a prequel. Similarly, Jorel Hamilton emailed us asking, will you redux the comic book origins? I'll explain again what a Redux clip is. It's basically a new bonus clip that refeatures an older clip in a new way. So either multiple clips have been uh, combined, or we've swapped out entries, or the video has just been plain made better. These improvements are made by taking into consideration all the feedback that the video got. Other times it's a video coming full circle, as when we start to make a video, we realize that we have to split it up, because we're going to omit a lot of fan favorites by only making one. That is just one reason why we will never run out of ideas. Because one list will probably spawn many others, and once all the smaller parts are published, we review the lists and include your feedback, and then combine them all. Like, we did top 10 band guitarists and top 10 solo guitarists, so we reduxed that into one clip, top 10 guitarists of all time. Ta-da! So, how do we decide which ones get reduxed? Well, sometimes the emotion in the comments is just off the charts, and we don't want to see our office get burned to the ground. Other times, we've left off some popular choices that in hindsight we probably could have included. Although we try not to redux a clip right away. Yeah, that means that yes, we will eventually redux the top 10 anime battles, and yes, we will have to limit it to one per series. Just not right away. So, to answer Jarrell's question, we will be revisiting our comic book origins, so you can keep your eye out for those soon. All right, I've got a couple of questions here. Eli DT, I think, asks, do you two actually listen to all the bands that appear in the top tens and saw all the movies? Or you just are good at making it look like you know all of them? And AVI Sax or Avi Sax says, not trying to be mean, but how come you don't listen to what the fans say? Because I'm always seeing comments saying, why is this so high? Or why didn't you include this? And then I check the original suggestion posts, and they're nothing like the actual video. For example, in the top 10 TV bros, everyone said Marshall, Ted, and Barney should have been act number one, and they didn't even get an honorable mention. Well, to work at Watch Mojo, you have to be passionate and knowledgeable about all the stuff that we cover, but you also have to acknowledge to yourself that you can't know everything about everything. Says you. Anyway, so while Rebecca and I are your esteemed hosts and the voices of the video, we also have a huge team behind us providing us with our information. That includes a dozen full-timers and dozens of part-timers, but that's not all. To ensure that our lists are not only entertaining and informative, but also objective and accurate, we launched the suggestion tool and spend hours and hours reading YouTube comments to persistently get better at what we do as much as it does crush our spirit. Well, someone does anyway. Actually, our suggestion tool is pretty unique and makes WatchMojo one of the few suggestion-driven channels on YouTube. In fact, since its inception in 2013, it's grown to over 50,000 users who've submitted 90,000 approved suggestions and voted 1.7 million times over 400,000 top 10 list entries. But that doesn't mean the lists you'll see on the suggestion tool are correct or objective or even relevant to our criteria which we hope answers AVI Sachs or Avi Sachs question. And by the way, we excluded Ted and Barney and Marshall from our bromances because a bromance is two and they're more of a menage a trois. We take this shit seriously. We're also objective and data-driven, which means that sometimes our viewers help us fill in the gaps to ensure that we don't forget someone. But occasionally their bias shines through and it's up to us to ensure that the final list makes sense. You're the yin to our yang. Moving along, a couple of items we hope will get you excited. We'd like to encourage you to keep using our suggestion tool. So going forward, we're going to feature user suggestions on the main suggestion tool page and in this show. So this week, our lucky winner is Mitchell Friend, who suggested top 10 saddest robot deaths in film. That's a bummer, but good idea. 
And some product news. Coming soon on the Suggest page, you'll be able to make comments on entries and vote for those. So if you want to suggest a DeLorean for the top 10 movie cars, you can make your case as to why. Not that you need to. Anyway guys, thanks as always for the questions. Don't forget to vote on our suggestions page for which FAQs you want answered next week. And if you want your questions answered, hit us up in the comments, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. And don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ. Oh, and if you want a shirt, check out watchmojo.com slash store. That's all for this week. Tune in again next time for another edition of What's Your Mojo? Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Thank you.